what's up everybody it's roya i'm back for another video as you all can see here by the title today's video is a skincare haul y'all i'm in my jammies so get unwind okay unwind girl because we're about to talk i don't have on no makeup i have on my glasses as y'all can see um i just did my full on skincare routine and while i was doing it this is very impromptu because while i was doing my skincare i said well let me just sit down and share with them all of the skincare that i have purchased in this ulta 21 days of beauty sale so um i re-upped girl okay i bought some of my staple products and then i purchased um one thing from chanel that i'm gonna show with you guys as well which is a skincare item to a certain degree as well so i said while I'm doing my skincare, let me just pop on camera. So I am in my jammies, girl. Good thing it was some appropriate jammies so I could just sit right down and have a good kiki and talk with y'all. But yes, I got my glasses on, girl, because um, I can't see right now. Something is like irritating my eye. Um, it's been like that all day. And so I've had my glasses on. But we're going to jump in. I'm going to share with you guys the things that I have re-upped on as far as skincare. I'll share with you levels of where I'm at with certain things um, as well. But yeah, I re-upped on some things and I'm trying some new things. So um, yeah, let's talk about it. First things up, Chanel. So I picked this up maybe two weeks ago. This is just a staple. They just always put it in this big ass box. I have been using the Chanel Cotton Squares for like four years now. As long as they've been producing them is as long as I've been using them. Um, they're my favorite cotton. I did use the Shiseido Cotton back in the day. That used to be a staple for me. I used to always get it from Sephora. Chanel came out with this and I just, y'all know. Y'all know. So I've been using this for years. Um, I was down to my last little stack in the box. So I just went ahead and ordered some more. You know, Chanel always extra. So they send you your little receipt. I opened this on Instagram. So girl, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you okay we have a good kiki over there okay we chit chat we talk y'all if you know you know y'all know we get our, our talk on um so this is what we got it came with a sample of the less exclusives boy i liked this it had a little bit of like an extra masculine tinge that i liked it also came with a hydra beauty micro liquid essence i'm really excited to try this i'm gonna put this in my little skincare arsenal those are the samples I chose. And the cotton. Extra fancy smancy. You get a hundred cotton squares. All right, y'all. So this is what it looks like. It's just embossed with the Chanel logo here. Y'all disregard my nails. I'm getting them done next week. Y'all already know. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. They're pretty big. They cover the surface of your face well they don't leave any lint residue and everything they're soft they're cushiony they're pillowy like if you want a luxurious experience for twenty dollars girl these are worth it so the only cotton i've used for years all right so the next things i'm gonna show you guys are things that i picked up during the ulta 21 days of beauty sale um i shared with that with you guys that perfume that i picked up that was like the first day of the sale and i apologize for not doing like recommendations and stuff y'all i really didn't have the opportunity like they sent me an email saying that um the sale was on and i just shopped it like i had no idea it was coming or happening so i really didn't prepare in regards to recommendations but one of the days this uh purity made simple philosophy cleanser was on sale for $12.50 it's normally $24 um it is <laughs> currently my cleanser of choice i have been using this religiously um when it comes to cleansing my face i feel like for its simple as this is it gets the makeup off it gets the dirt off it gets the grime off it gets really deep into your skin like i love this as a cleanser i it seems like so basic because it's a one-step cleanser but it literally it says deep cleanses pores eliminates makeup buildup hydrates as it melts away bleh, 
hydrates as it melts away makeup contains deep cleansing agents natural oil extracts helps condition skin fragrance free formula i mean this is so good y'all so i've been using this this has been a staple for me at least two or three years um i saw i was running low on it and so i decided to go ahead and pick up another one when they uh were doing the ulta 21 days of beauty so re-upped on that the next thing that i was not really low on but it was in the sale and so i figured i might as well get it um was the dhc facial cleanser this is my favorite cleansing oil as of now so back in the day i was using the nars and then before that i was using the origins and i like them both but i love this one why because as you can see i have not used a whole ton of this and it's because literally one pump will get it all off my face seriously so so if you're a person who likes to double cleanse this is really really good um basically what i do is cleanse my skin with this and then i move in with um the philosophy cleanser real good cleanses my skin it feels super super clean but hydrated because of course this is the oil and this is just naturally moisturizing but um i've been loving this so I went ahead and picked up another one. It's normally $28 in the sale. It was 50% off, so I paid $14. So I did go ahead and pick up another one of those. And once I'm done with this, of course, I'll crack this open. But I don't like being out of my skincare. Like, that's something I don't know. Like, I can run out. Of, it's like running out of milk, egg, cheese, bread, like toothpaste. Like, I don't like running out of my skincare. So I always keep a backup on deck. All right, you guys, so the next re-up is my Clarence Double Serum. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I have talked about this for years. I've been using this for years. I started using this shortly after my first pregnancy because I was experiencing like hormonal issues with my skin. And this has just been a dream for me. Um, as you can see, I'm almost out. So when it was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I had to pick it up. Number one, this shit pricey. It costs, listen, okay? $90 for a one ounce bottle of serum is a lot of money to me. I know other people spend $130. That's perfume to me. You know what I'm saying? And this go way faster than perfume. So listen, that's when I'm like pumping my brakes. But I have consistently purchased this over the years because it's just that good. So you know if my little frugal ass will do it, it's worth it. Um, so when it went to $45, we're snagging it. And gang. So I did go ahead and pick one up. So what it looks like. Nice one ounce. This is my favorite nighttime serum. I don't use it during the day. It's a bit too oily. Not oily for me, but like uh thick rich it's very rich so it, it's definitely something you're going to want to use when you're pampering your skin i pamper my skin every night so this is my nighttime serum but yeah i wouldn't use it during the day especially if you're about to wear makeup unless you have like extremely dry skin and it will absorb real quick but this is a good nighttime serum for me. the next re-up that i have that i don't even have to show because i've already trashed it is the milani uh sugar scrub I tried a new flavor, but I've been using this for the last few years as well. It is their lip scrub or their lip exfoliant. This is the rose sugar scent. The one I got before was just like their traditional one. Excuse me. And it smelled like birthday cake or whatever, like real vanilla-y. Um, let's see what this is like. Um, but yeah, I found this on the drugstore side. I went to go get the one I always get and they, they had this one. So... Oh, it smells really good. It smells rosy. That's good. The texture feels like it's going to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is just my favorite lip scrub. I've been using it for years. Um, I did start using something else uh, for like my lip treatment, which I'm actually going to have to end up picking up in the Sephora sale. Um it's the Laneige or Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Sweet Candy. This is literally my favorite. So I stopped using the lip treatment that goes with this because this comes in a lip treatment and a scrub. And I use this as the scrub at night and this as like my nighttime uh, lip treatment. 
and during the day i use the ysl um lip balm so if you've been wondering how i feel about that i love it but i use it during the day and i use the laneige at night okay so the next thing that i picked up was the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion with pump uh lotion plus now this isn't I mean, I've used this in the past. What I'm currently using is the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. I've This is like my third bottle of this as well. And then I have used this in between. I've gone back and forth with moisturizers because I will use them on a regular basis. So I will like uh, go back and forth. So right now I'm using this one. I wanted to try something a little different. So when this popped up in the sale and it's something that I've already tried that I know I'm going to like, since I felt like switching it up, I did uh, pick this one up. And I think these are normally like 28, 30 bucks and they were $14.75 in the sale. And you get a lot of it, it's 4.2 ounces. So that's a lot of moisturizer for under $20. The last thing I picked up that was like a re-up for me and something that I had to crack open and this is one of my favorite exfoliators it's the Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleansers with Orange Astract for all skin types I've used this for years um for the last like year I've been using the Philosophy uh micro delivery and that's good but I just wanted something different and I know I've always liked this so when I was in Ulta I just went ahead and picked it up this wasn't even part of the sale but I just went ahead and picked it up because I know that I like it uh and as I said I have <laughs> really been enjoying it I'm glad I went back to it it's like a soft pillowy type of exfoliant without being too much so I really like that. Okay, so now let's move on to some things that are new to me um this is the Lancome Tonique Comfort Rehydrating Comforting Toner with Acai or Acai Honey and I picked this up because I have been looking for a more, I guess, luxurious toner. And I felt like, number one, this is super luxe, but they got it for 50% off. So now's the time to try it. But number two, in the evenings is when I take the time with my skin. I'm not really a morning person where it's like I'm doing like all the steps and all of this. No, at night is when I have the time to do it. So I wanted something a little more luxurious. And although you would think fall and winter is when your skin for me is at the driest and you want to really put hydration in it, I've noticed in my age um, <laughs> that in the spring and summer now, I have to kind of be a little more cautious because the sun like tightens my skin sometimes so i wanted to try a very hydrating luxurious toner so this is the long comb toner and again these are normally like 35 or 38 and they had marked them to 17 for that day so i did go ahead and pick this up to try you get 6.7 fluid ounces of this so this is for dry skin so i think this is going to be really nice and then it has a moisturizer in this line as well. And this is the Hydrazen Gel Cream Anti-Stress Moisturizing Cream Gel. And this sounded really, really nice. So I don't know. It just caught my attention. And it's normally $48 and they had uh, them on sale that day for $24. So at that point, yes, sis, we're going to try it because we're going to try it. So... And it's a 1.7 ounce, which is like standard for moisturizers. That Clinique moisturizer is just on crack. They just do, oh, I love the way this feels. This is a pretty jar and it's heavy. Um, it's really, oops, it's really, really nice. So that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go ahead and open it because it is about to go out, sis. Like, I'm gonna start trying, oh, oh, oh. This is really, you. You can feel this luxury right here. This is luxurious. <laughs> Look at it. It looks really luxurious. So we're going to try that out. I'm glad I got this. But yeah, I just wanted some kind of like, you know, pamper me stuff. I thought this would be nice to try, especially at 50% off. I mean, at that point, you're pushing me to try it. And the last two things I got that are new to me are the Black Girl Sunscreen. I actually was looking for this in Target and for some reason I kept bypassing it. It's crazy because I went into Ulta. I didn't even know Ulta sold this. I was in there just kind of perusing when I went to um, pick up the cleanser and I saw this and I was like, I didn't know I'm looking in Target. It's in Ulta the whole time. So I just went ahead and picked it up. Spring, summer's coming, you know, more sun. You're going to need to kind of add the sunscreen. And that's what I like to do in the spring 
spring and summer, I like to add it in instead of having it already in my moisturizer. So, of course, we're going to want to try one for our skin. This is Ultra Sheer, no white residue, fragrance-free, a broad spectrum of uh, 30. It's infused with jojoba and avocado, water-resistant for 80 minutes, moisturizing sunscreen lotion for the face and the body, um, specifically made for us. So, I'm ready to try it and it wasn't that expensive it was like $15.99 so that was good and then I got this the day that I went because one of these things the cleansing oil I did like I ordered it and then I had them um uh in-store pickup curbside pickup and I just went in and of course when you do it on in-store pickup you're looking at stuff and so I saw this and my girl Keiko Beauty has been talking about this this is the ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution 10 minute exfoliating facial I really want to try this I've heard really good things not only from her but a couple of other people and I didn't realize it was seven dollars and twenty cents but this is the beauty I get to the register and apparently I had like a hundred points or something and so I got three dollars off so I picked up my order and then I grabbed this and this was like four dollars and twenty cents like five dollars with tax or something so willing to try it for five dollars at this point and um was that everything yeah that's everything so that's everything that I have picked up skincare wise um spring it's time to re-up when the seasons change that's when i tend to kind of gravitate towards either re-upping on what i need or trying new things and i'm really excited about that lancome um duo or set because it's been a while since i indulge in luxury skincare so to speak i mean of course i use my clarins and a couple of other things but i don't really do the chanel's lancomes whoops the Chanel, Lancome's, Dior, stuff like that because of the fragrance in them. But this is not overly done and I feel like I'm going to um, like this. And even researching the it that day when I ordered it, I felt like, you know, this is something I'm going to like. So I'll keep you guys posted on it. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I just wanted to jump in and share with you guys a quick haul of the skincare that I have picked up here recently. So number one, I can get it out, um, and it'll put away and out for usage. But yeah, that's all I had. I don't got no more. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video.